Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the end of July. So from now until the end of July, or whenever it resonates. Keep in mind that this reading is not going to resonate with every single person. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. If you are in a happily ever after marriage, you probably don't need to be watching a tarot reading. Okay. At this time, I have decided that I'm only going to do the uh, emergency readings, the $90 readings, within 24 hours. Uh, so if you are looking for a reading, you can uh, go ahead and book that one. It's three questions, 30 minutes, private video. I've just got too many going on, and so that's what's available at this time. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. Somebody is giving up on a situation, walking away. It's just not worth it. It's not worth. It's not worth my time. It's not worth my energy. I don't. I can't. I'm not. I don't need to be involved in this. Um, let me just put this together real quick. Somebody's received the clarity that they need. They have received the clarity. They have received the truth. Some sort of truth has been revealed could have been in regards to a commitment of some sort you know we have this commitment here there's like there's like the there's been some sort of period of rest period of contemplation that has served you very well you know fours are about foundations they're about balance um I think somebody's foundation had been shook up for quite some time and now things are starting to perhaps be revealed as to why they got shook up why think the why there was so much discontent it's like somebody is somebody is not staying in this period of discontent okay with the four of swords reversed and the hermit reversed somebody is re, is is no longer there it's like you know what i realize why this happened i i understand i understand why this didn't work and it's no longer i'm, I'm not even invested in it anymore I'm not even invested in it. I'm not. It's not even, I don't even care. The care is gone. Congratulations. Okay, because now here, the Four of Swords and the Hermit Reverse, somebody was really taking a time out to, to go over it, to go over why this, why this partnership didn't work out, what happened, you know, going over the whole nine yards. They took a, they took a period of time to, to, to basically heal. It was a time of isolation and solitude that has served them in a way that now they are able to start over. I'm ready to start again. I'm ready to begin again. I'm ready to, to accept any new endeavors that come my way. I've had my time out. I've had my period of, of thought and rest and recuperation. And now I realize the truth. I realize why this happened and I'm not going to struggle with it anymore. The, the relief is here. The five of wands reversed is relief. Upright is the power struggles. It's, it's going back and forth. You know, it's the t game of tug of war right here. Reversed. It's I've given up. I have given up. I accept the reality of this situation, but somebody had been reluctant to move on for quite some time. They had. Somebody has been had been reluctant to move on, but I feel as though now
there's still some sort of emptiness, okay? Somebody, somebody has been reluctant to move on, but they feel relief, okay? Because the Five of Wands reverse is reluctance but relief. The Devil card. This is down in the future. So I'm not sure if you're going to be tempted by something in the future. I'm just putting this together. Bear with me. This right here is right around the corner. Something is incomplete. Something isn't finished yet. Now we have Pisces and we have Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo. But next to this incomplete, something is, an inc something is incomplete. Their closure is still needed in some situation. Reluctant to move on. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Somebody is reluctant to move on. Now, I don't know if it's the other person. The challenge is this moon reversed. This is the challenge. So, so... Maybe you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to accept the reality that you have moved on. Maybe they don't feel like this is over. But it was toxic. It was toxic, whatever it was. It was lies. Or it is lies. And you know the truth. Interesting. Let me get some clarifiers here. Oh, goodness gracious. It just came flying out out. Somebody from your past. Maybe this is somebody that you've had a past life with. I don't know. It flew out. It teetered and it fell. And it was somebody that you've been committed to in the past. Somebody that you've been committed to in the past may be wanting to communicate with you. There is a bond that is undeniable. You've given up. I see that you have. You've given up. You're feeling alive. You're feeling good. It's like, you know what? I don't need to I don't need to hang on to this anymore. So, you decide to start over. You decide to take this new path and it feel I mean, this could be an apology. Please God, no. You know, I don't know what this is, but Somebody's not happy about your newfound uh, livelihood. Okay, I'm becoming alive again. I'm feeling good. And other people see. This is in the position how other people see you. Other people see that you're feeling good. They see that you're no longer crying in your, crying in your milk. You know, it's like, you know what? I feel good. I don't need to sit back and wait anymore. I'm ready. I'm, I'm feeling alive. The Four of Swords reverse. I'm, I'm revived. I'm stepping out. I'm no longer going to stay in hermit mode. I am stepping out, and I feel good about it. Other people see that you're stepping out. But there's been a commitment with someone in your past, and somebody isn't happy. Now, this could be a family member, could be a child, could be a lover, could be somebody from a past life. I don't know. But this is communication coming in. There is a strong connection here. But that devil card, that's something that is undeniable. And the chains, you know, the chains are, 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 they're hard to break, put it that way. It takes a lot of willpower to break those chains. And somebody is reluctant to move on. It's not over yet. Now, this is not what I want to hear in any means whatsoever, period. Um... Somebody is confused. They have options. And maybe this person, whoever it is, sees that you have options or you do have options. This could be options, illusions, confusion. Somebody has to make a choice. There's a decision that needs to be made. Maybe somebody has to choose between two people. There could be two people here. We have two people or whatever. Okay. Um, and you know there's a lot of burdens here somebody has a has, is carrying a real a lot of burden a big responsibility on their shoulders it's getting really heavy they want to lay it down somebody wants to lay down this burden and and what oh 
God. Bring structure back to their lives. Somebody wants to perhaps be a family now. Uh, be the man. I don't know. Somebody has gained some wisdom. And now they they have are trying to make a decision as to what is going to make them happy. There's something that still needs some closure. Somebody may be wanting to come back to do the right thing, to communicate uh, their truth, how they really feel. They've been carrying this around, wanting to do it for quite some time. It's getting gotten to the point where it's really, really heavy. We have this emperor here. This emperor can represent a father. I don't know if it's a reconciliation with a father or some uh, father of your child, the father of your children, or or somebody that, this is a family man. Okay, I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to, you know, it's a husband, you know, whatever it is. Somebody is, is now ready to get stabilized again. I'm looking for stability. I'm looking for security. I want to bring structure and organization back to my life. So I'm ready to lay down these burdens. And it's going to be tempting. It's going to be tempting. But there may not be any chances left because with the judgment re reverse, it's like, I don't think that, I don't think there's any chances left. This is no resurrection. There's no chance. There's no forgiveness. I'm not sure that you can forgive. Oh my goodness. There could be a celebration that you come up, you meet this person at, you know, and that's because this is a celebration and this is a celebration. So I'm not sure. Or a party or an event or something where you go and you run into this person that you were with in a past life or past lover or past whatever. You, you know, dealt with them in the past. You run into them and... You know, there's, you're tempted. That devil card is there. It's like all of a sudden the sparks start flying again. And, uh, oh shit. That's all that I can say. And, you know, now it's like, oh my God. What am I going to do now? Please, God, no. That's all that I can say. It's like, oh God, I don't even, I don't, I can't. I'm sorry. You know, then, you know, this is, uh, act now, think later. If somebody will is going to be tempted, you know, by somebody that, like I said, the sparks are going to be flying. So beware, Taurus. Beware. I think that that you are feeling really good. You're looking really good. You're on top of your game. You're 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 moving on. You're you're good. You're good. I'm good. I I don't know about you. I'm a Taurus and I'm good. There ain't no looking back for me. That's exactly where I'm at. I'm like done, done with the past. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but that's where I'm at. So now we have this new temptation, whether it's a new one, which I, I'm praying to God that it is. I hope it, but I don't, it doesn't look like it is, so I have to tell you the truth here. I feel like there is somebody from your past, I don't know who it is, that is going to come back into your life. They've done you wrong. They've done you wrong. Really bad. And they come in asking for forgiveness, and you're like, oh, no, 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 no against my better judgment thank you very much it's really against my better judgment you know but uh, the temptation is is high very high um you know maybe they they have a lot to offer at this time maybe they're like you know what i can give you this i can give you that i'm sorry i didn't give you this before whatever if they can even apologize i don't have to worry about that my ex cannot apologize so i think i'm pretty good anyhow on, for the rest of you good luck um, this six of pentacles right here, this is about give and take. It's about getting what you deserve. So I have to tell you that, you know, there could be some sort of inheritance coming in, some news of some new money or some sort of, uh, pay increase. I mean, I know this is a love reading, but I have to tell you when I see this card that, you know, maybe somebody in authority or I don't know what, you could be receiving some sort of money from somebody. I don't know, that goes off off topic, but I have to throw that out there. Ugh. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
Okay, so this is um, somebody that comes into your life, if you are single or that you're with now, that does have good intentions. He's in the upright. This guy has good intentions for love. He's, he's coming in and he's offering you his heart and he means it. And... Uh, and there you are, right next to him. And the, and the passion is hot. It's hot. It's going to make me puke to that point. But it's like there's there's no justice here. There's been lies. There's been deceit. This, this is karmic. There's been dishonesty. Somebody hasn't wanted to be held accountable for their actions in the past. So I feel like this is, is a, and this is a decision needs to be made. And I think it's a really heavy decision, okay? It is. Somebody has to make a heavy decision. Do I want to go down this road again? Do I need to go down this road again? I know that I've walked away from this road and I've done a lot of work. I've done a lot of healing. And this could be any sign. This could be any sign at all. I don't know what sign you're dealing with, but you're right here. You're doing good. You're abundant. You you got your shit together. You're in the upright. You're 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 abundant. You're fine. Okay? You got it. You got it going on. You don't need this guy. And you notice you're right here. You're looking down here at all you got. He's looking outward. He may be offering you something and not really even looking in your face. You know, he's not really looking at you while he's offering it you know it's like it's false but he does have good intentions so the king of cups typically has good intentions so we're going to get some clarifiers on this this is this is really it's giving me um it's not making me feel good put it that way this justice card is justice hasn't been done in this situation it hasn't been Somebody did not want to be held accountable for their actions, and somebody was treated unfairly. I want to know what this King of Cups is with this Queen of Pentacles. This is about give and take, equality. There's burdens that need to be dropped. But this is harmony. This, this could be balancing things out and working together. Oh, God. End of July. This is removing obstacles that stand in the way. Please, God. Takes strength, takes courage. Maybe the obstacle is a Leo. I don't know. Could be another woman. I don't know. It's going to take strength, confidence, courage, and willpower for you to, to really think about this without being impulsive, okay? You're looking good. You are looking real good, okay? You are. This, you're going to run into somebody that you've dated before, and that's the, what I think this is. And you're probably going to run into him as some sort of who knows what. And you are going to be called not to act impulsively. Because if you do, it's going to be hard to break away. It's karma. It is karma. You know, you can't, you have to remember. You have to remember the truth, okay? Don't turn a blind eye to what happened in the past. And I know that a lot of readers tell you to do that and whatever. Some people say, you know what, don't bring the past with you. And I'm sure that I've said that before. But in this case, I have to remind you, do not ignore what hurt you in the past. Did this person choose somebody over you? Good chance of it. You know, this isn't, it isn't heaven sent. It's not heaven sent. 
This is karma. It didn't lead to wish fulfillment in the past. No wish fulfillment in the past. Yes. Yes, there was some good memories and there was love. There was love. But the truth is, what is the truth now? What is the truth today? What is the truth today, dear God, angel, spirits, and universe? This person's been blocking the truth. They've been blocking the truth. They've done a lot of work. They've put in a lot of effort into changing. Oh, God damn it all. The lovers. This is going to make me puke. Oh. Hopefully this is somebody new. The lover's cards can signify that you have somebody that is better suited for you. Okay? You think you know who the one is, but that person is not the one. You actually have somebody else that is better suited. This is also a card of consequences. Consequences from the, about the choice that you are about to make. You are absolutely going to have to make a heavy decision with that Ten of Wands, the Justice Reversed, this card, the Seven of Cups. There's a decision that needs, this one, there's a decision that needs to be made. And you are going to have to, you're going to have to unblock all those feelings that are buried inside. And this is crazy shit because I, I started this reading already, okay, and I, this was the card that I pulled. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. And this is what's happening here. And it's funny, I told Leo in my last reading that I never get this card. I told Leo that. Okay. Well, apparently I do get this card. So the fact of the matter is, is that this is going to be an emotional time. The end of July is going to be emotional. You are going to reconnect with somebody from your past. It could be a Gemini. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be any sign. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo, could be a Libra, could be anybody. Could be an Aquarius, could be any sign. You're going to reconnect with somebody from your past. Somebody that hurt you very, very badly. Whether you run into them at the store at, or at some event, some gathering, whatever. And the sparks are going to fly. The chemistry is going to hit and it's going to be undeniable. And you're going to have to really make a decision that, you know, you're going to have, you're going to have to be prepared to live with the consequences of that decision. So you better start thinking about it right now. How you, how will you handle this? How will you handle this if you run into this person? There hasn't been adequate closure with the world card. There hasn't been. Closure needs to happen. Whether you're closing this door at this time or you're reopening it, I don't know. But there's a soulmate connection here. There is. Look at, look at this. There's a soulmate connection. And you're going to be called to don't push down your feelings. Tell this person what they did. And if they can't look at you in the face, then you made the right decision. Let's get one of these. This reading, please, it's not for me. I don't know who this reading is for, but it is not for me. I hope it's for one of you guys. This reading is not for me. I like to be in denial, just like the rest of you. And this reading is not for me. My ex couldn't apologize if a gun was pointed to his head. So I don't have to worry about it. This is an apology. 
So it, good luck for the rest of you. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This could be a new love that you run into that isn't a recent ex. This could be somebody that you knew in a past life. For the Six of Cups and this card, it could be somebody that you've known before. This could be somebody that you've known from your childhood as well. That's what I'm praying for. I'm praying that this is somebody from my childhood that, you know, I've known before. I don't know. I hope it's... I don't even know what to say. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I'm being optimistic that this is new love. New love. For some of you, it's an X. For me, it's not. You take it for however you want it. But be prepared to make a decision that is... You know, there'll be consequences. There will be consequences. This is a, this is a it, undeniable connection with the devil, okay, with the devil card, this card, the six of cups. I mean, this is something that is going, I mean, the, the attraction is, I can't even speak, put it that way. I can't even get the words out of my mouth. The attraction is going to be like, you know, like, whew, you know, like that. It's just going to be like the the pheromones are. Everybody's going to back away, <laughs> you know. So I'm like, I probably shouldn't leave the freaking house. Put it that way. Um, yeah. So. I guess I'm gonna stop right there. This is this is this is. I don't even know if I'm gonna share this video. Um, I don't even know if I should. Uh, somebody is coming in very quickly, very 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 quickly. And I think that I've said I can't even. I mean, I'm I can't even speak. And that's you know that's I can speak. So, but at this point, I can't speak because. And you won't be able to either. It's gonna be you're gonna be like dumbfounded, dumbfounded. I am, I'm, I have said enough. Talk to you later.